So you just got your Banish Starter Kit and you have no idea where to start? Don't worry about it. We're going to go step by step on how to use it and how to get the most out of these amazing products. But first, let me tell you why I love the Banisher. When it comes to microneedling at home, you have to be really careful. There are a lot of products on the market that can do more harm than good to your skin. You probably saw ads for these derma rollers, which are honestly not the best idea. The microneedles in them enter the skin at an angle, which can cause micro tears and even more scarring. I love Banish because they created a device that offers all the benefits of at-home micro needling without the dangers of derm rollers. They work perpendicularly on your skin, meaning that there are no dangers of micro tears and they even include a built-in system for disinfecting your device. The Banisher 2.0 is what we call a derma stamper and here is how you're going to use it with the rest of your Banish starter kit. The first thing you're going to do is disinfect your Banisher 2.0 Derma Stamper using its built-in disinfection system. You just fill up your Banisher 2.0 disinfection tank with 70% alcohol, close it and let it work for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, open it up, throw out the alcohol and let it air dry completely. Make sure nothing else is touching your derma stamper while it's drying so it remains clean. Step 2. While your Banisher 2.0 is disinfecting, cleanse your face using the Banish All Clear Mint Cleanser or your favorite gentle cleanser. Also, make sure your hands are as clean and as, as sterile as possible. Step number three, target areas that you want to improve. Uh, for example, I have most of my scarring on my cheeks and around on my eyes over here. So this is where I do derma stamping the most. However, I always go over my entire face too, just to boost that collagen production and get that nice glow. A word of warning, be careful not to stamp over any active acne, including whiteheads. Avoid using over any rashes or sores and don't use over collodial type scars. Identify where your hyperpigmentation or acne scars are and gently press the banisher onto the skin. Do not twist or drag the banisher while it's pressed onto the skin and after stamping, lift the banisher up and rotate it slightly when it's not on the skin and press back down. Repeat this process four to five times per area. These little needles are going to help your skin produce more collagen and they're also going to help open channels on your skin. So your active ingredients like vitamin C can penetrate your skin even better and get to work deeper in your skin. And the fourth step is putting Banisher oil onto freshly needled skin. So once you're completely finished using the Banisher, apply a few drops of the Banish oil to the skin with clean hands. I recommend the Banish oil for most people, however, the Vitamin C cream by Banish is more suited for people with oily skin types. A little bit of this goes a long way. You may feel a slight tingly sensation when applying the Banisher oil. Again, this is completely normal, especially since the Vitamin C is slightly acidic. After a few minutes, this feeling will go away. Redness in the skin should subside after a few hours or by next morning. Don't apply makeup, cosmetics, or additional skincare until at least 8 hours after microneedling or even better the next morning. Stay out of the sun and wear SPF 30 plus daily for the best results. And step number five is re-sanitizing your Banisher 2.0. So you've just applied bristles from this Banisher all over your skin and you're going to need to re-sanitize your Banisher with rubbing alcohol again. Over time, dead skin cells can collect in between the bristles and they do become dull with repeated use. For this reason, it is recommended to replace the Banisher 2.0 after 8 to 10 uses or whenever you notice the bristles are dulling. You can use the Banisher 2.0 once a week or once every other week, depending on how sensitive your skin is. It's important to give enough time in between each use. Consistency brings the best results, as always. 
So along with your new microneedling part of your routine, I recommend that you continue using the vitamin C cream in the morning to keep your skin moisturized and to let the vitamin C in it brighten your pigmentation and boost that collagen production. These products make it so easy because you don't need too many steps in your routine. I personally use the vitamin C cream in the morning and in the evening I use the oil over it for an additional boost of hydration and vitamin C goodness. Your starter kit also includes an incredible pumpkin enzyme mask that is going to make sure you get rid of the dead layers of skin on your face using a great combination of glycolic acid and vitamin C. Glycolic acid is a wonderful AHA that can have amazing benefits for those trying to get rid of acne scars and hyperpigmentation. Also, don't forget about your Fighter Gel. The Fighter Gel is a holy grail product for those moments when your skin is red, inflamed, or if you have an active breakout. You simply apply a thin layer wherever your skin is feeling angry, and the organic aloe vera, centella asiatica, and green tea will soothe and cool down your skin. I love this. So that's it. This combination of microneedling, powerful active ingredients, and soothing, organic, calming ingredients will be great additions to your skincare journey. If you are confused about building your own skincare routine, this is a great way to get everything you need in one place. Just remember to be consistent with the products, but also be consistent with your self-care and self-love. When you look into the mirror, don't overanalyze imperfections because we all have them. Human skin isn't plastic. If you're kind to your skin, your skin will love you for it. I hope this video helped you. See you!